Remember, I said we need her the opportunity to see what's bothering her. And if you have the distance, we must allow her to check out things that concern her. But if the distance is too short, we need to support her. So we can mark, or good girl, looking at, or if she looks away, or if she moves away, we say the yes, we move away, which reduces that pressure of that dog coming toward us, right? Yep. And then we can feed her food, or we can carry on another way. Okay. So basically, this is mark and move. We're still marking the looking at, the looking yep. away. We could we could even mark lip licks. We could mark oh, head yes. turns. Yes. Oh, Peter's good. <laughs> we could mark yes. all of those. But if we know that that pressure is going to be too much, damn it, we need to support her and move yep. away. So the difference between what we just did is the moving away part yep. because it's simulating I need oh, to get out of dodge because my dog is going to react. So you would call her away, okay. move away to a distance where she's okay. Where you can get, she's you can, to the ground or she's doing other Exactly. Things. Okay. And yep. you could do a find it yep. or you could just move away and carry on your walk another angle. Okay. Okay? So what I want to practice now is that pretend, uh-oh, she's, and we need to get Mouth out of open dodge. like she's yeah. doing means she's gathering information. See how that, the lip lick. Good yeah. Good. So we're going to pretend, we're going to move away, it's all sort of pretend. No, 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 I got it. Okay, and you can give her rubs. Yeah, good. So that's mark and move.